This is the Fulton County Public Library website, and we have a partnership with them called ClassPass. So let me show you some of the things that you have access to. First thing is Libby. It's an app. Through this portal, you can check out books and audiobooks and read them on your computer, or you can download the app and listen and read on your phone. It has tons of stuff. So if you're interested in reading a book, let's say you want to read The Hate You Give, click on it. You do the search, and right here on the green at the top, it'll tell you if it's available or not. So right now, if you want to read the ebook, it's waitlisted. But if you want to borrow um, the audiobook, you can. How do you do that? You have to come up here to my account and sign in. I'm already signed in, so I'm not going to sign out. But for you, let's look at what that looks like. So for students, your username is the same way that you get into my backpack. It's going to be your network ID. So if your name was John Doe, it'd be like J Doe one two three four. Your password is your lunch number. For teachers, it's your Lawson number, and your password is Change Me. So this is um, Overdrive, also called Libby. Now let's look at some of the other things that you can do. So that was ebooks and audiobooks through Libby, but there's another app called Hoopla. Now, Hoopla, you can check out audiobooks, ebooks, movies, and you can check out um, music. So if you sit here and you click on Hoopla, you can do a search for everything, but if you do a drop down menu here, these are all the cool things that you can, can do with Hoopla. Now, you will have to create your own account, but if you go in through Atlanta Fulton County Public Library and you put in your library card, you can see. So I'm going to put in um, Hoopla here and see where it takes me. So here are the movies that I can check out. And I can, so if you don't have Netflix, you can see what they have available and see what you want to, to check out. And you just turn it back in when you're done. And you can stream from your um, from your phone or from any other kind of mobile device. There is an app for this as well. If we're moving on, you can go down to magazines and click those those. Again, you'll have to register, but you only have to do that once using your library card, and you can read all of these magazines for free at RB Digital. And again, that's an app as well. So you could download Libby, Hoopla, RB Digital, and be able to get magazines, books, movies, audiobooks, all for free. Freegal, which I'm, you can also do the same thing, which is for streaming music, so you don't have to have Spotify. So what else do they have? There is something called the Digital Library. I'm gonna scroll down and click here. Now the digital library has all this cool stuff. There's a history online info base. There is New York Times online. There's uh, all these, there's Georgia newspapers, historically black newspapers that you can access. But I wanna take you down to something called Linda and click on that. Linda is a digital platform that has tutorials that'll teach you how to do everything from how to make movies on how to become a computer programmer. So I'm gonna put in my account, but remember what your library card number is, your network ID and your lunch number for um, students and for teachers, it's your Lawson number and that change me until you change it. So I'm gonna log in. It says I'm confirming that I'm me. Now let's look and see what they have. If you look here, you can look for things that have to do with business or design or marketing. And if you see here, if you scroll down, you can learn JavaScript, you can learn um, Photoshop. If you wanna learn that, so I'm gonna type in Photoshop. And there are full courses and it tells you how long they take, one hour and 25 minutes, two hour and 56 minutes, and you can learn all kinds of cool things 
for absolutely free um, through the public library. So let's go back. I want to show you something else. You can get there. I'm typing in my backpack. So if you sign in my backpack, there is a way for you to get to the public library by just typing in class pass. So you do class, there it is. Type in class pass and it takes you to this site. So you could get home, go home to get all of those other apps that we've kind of gone through, or you can go down to high school right here. Now we've talked about Hoopla and RB Digital, but there's a cool one right here called Learning Express Library. And if you look at Learning Express Library, there's a college admissions test preparation. If you click on that, you can see that they have test prep for ACT, SAT, and for the AP exam. So if you click on AP exam, for example, they have all of these resources. I'm gonna click on English literature. So if I wanna make sure I get that five, it'll tell me up here what they have. There are two practice tests, and then there's a study guide here as well. Now, this isn't the only place that you can go to get AP and SAT help. So if I go back, and I've gone all the way out, but that's not a bad thing to do because we can go and see where we get it from. So go to eBooks. You're going the long way, class pass. Back down to high school. And here we are again. So if you scroll down, there's another place right here called Testing and Education Reference Center. And there as well, you'll have to sign in and register, but again, you'll just use your library card number. Click on high school and just kind of say what you want to do. We're preparing for a test. I want to take an AP test. I'm going to do AP prep. And look at all these resources. So I want to look at resources to prep for the AP statistics. If I click on start now, it's going to ask me to log in and I've already logged in before, but you guys would have to register again. Just use your library card number and it takes me here. So there are practice tests. So there are two practice tests that are there to help you prep and you can kind of do those either on your own to see how well you're going to do on the test and see what things you need to work on. So you can go directly to the public library by just putting in AFPLS, or you can just go to Google and put in public library and go here to find all those cool, all that cool stuff. Or you can go to my backpack, type in class pass and get there from there as well. And there it is.